Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity. And we're here today to look into the voltage and frequencies that can appear on your bed. And most people know that their beds are filled with springs. And if we look in this box spring, you can actually see them. It's these coils. These coils of metal are throughout your entire bed. And that's what supports you. And you lay on this lattice of metal wires that run in between them. So what we have is an oscilloscope that is connected to a reference garden ground rod that is in my back garden. It doesn't have any electrical connections to it. And the probe is actually connected on to this lattice of metal that runs through the bed. And this is what our waveform looks like. And our scale is set to 200 millivolts per division in the vertical direction. And we're at 10 milliseconds in the horizontal direction. And you can, what you can see is just general background noise. But this is electrical energy. And it's flowing through your bed. And this is about 200 millivolts peak to peak, what we're looking at. But all that's going to change when I turn on the electricity to the room. So let's go and see what happens when we do that. So this switch turns on all the electricity to the room. As so you can see, the bedside lamps are now illuminated. And this is the voltage that is on the bed. So it's very, very different. And this is a 60 hertz AC sine wave. It has a lot of electrical noise on it. So we're almost at about 1.6 volts peak to peak with this waveform. So it's a pretty significant voltage to be sleeping on every night. But even more interesting is the frequency content. So I'm going to turn on the Pass Fourier Transform, which will show us the frequency content. So right here is 60 hertz. And the left scale is zero. And on the right scale is the highest frequency. And each division right now is 100 hertz per division. And in the vertical direction, we have 20 decibels per division. So you can see that we've got 60 hertz, and then these other spikes are actually what's known as harmonics. They're repeating 60 hertz frequencies. So we actually have harmonics on this bed. So I'm going to increase the frequency, and we can see that there's a lot more energy in there. So we're only kilohertz per division right now. We can see that we've got this really big spike. And we've got, also got these other spikes. And these appear to be various harmonics that are on the system. So let's go up to 10 kilohertz per division. And at 10 kilohertz per division, you can see there's a lot of electrical noise. We can see we've got these spikes. And these spikes uh, repeat all the way up to about 2 megahertz. So let's go up a little bit higher in frequency. So we're at 100 kilohertz right now per division. And you can see there's a lot of uh, spikes in there. And each one of those spikes is a specific frequency of energy. So we're now on a megahertz per division. And what we can see is there's a very definite set of noise that's on this bed. And it goes all the way up to almost 2 megahertz. And if you're sleeping on this bed every night, your body's going to be getting subjected to those frequencies. So my conclusion is that these beds that have metal coils in them and lots of metal to support the mattress, they're actually probably quite toxic to your health. And if you want to find out more about the toxicity of electricity, you'll find it in the book called Toxic Electricity. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.